Good evening everyone and welcome to another episode of Wayne's World of Science and Technology. Tonight I want to talk a little bit about some odd things that have been happening in international relations recently. You may have actually noticed some of them. And I have a nasty and suspicious mind. Okay, going back. February 2022. Russia launches their full-scale invasion of Ukraine. What's Zelensky's response? Everybody knows the famous, I need ammo, not a ride. What everybody kind of ignores is the, hey, Budinov, why don't you go do things and make the Russians' lives miserable? And that exactly is where I think a lot of people are missing things. Budinov's been out there doing things, and I really am looking forward to reading the history of what the GRU has gotten up to after this war is over. I have a suspicion a lot of people are going to be shocked, but consider the number of times recently that Russian assets overseas have uh, suddenly developed a tendency to die. Like in Mali. Or in Syria. Or in Sudan. Now this is starting to show a pattern. And curiously, quite often in these attacks, there's heavy use of drones. And I wonder who else uses a lot of drones. You see where I'm coming here? I mean, this really looks like a lot of what's going on that has been uh, causing Russia problems has its origins in Karol Budinov's office. And I think he's probably doing a pretty good job considering the mess that Russia is having with their various overseas um, assets. Anyway, it's just, this is just pure speculation. I don't know that this is what happened. It's what I would have done if I was the lady. <clears throat> Sorry. I almost mixed up one guy's name with another. Um, Zelensky. I almost said Zeluzny instead of Zelensky. If I was Zelensky, I would have basically told Budinov, hey, the gloves are off. You can do almost anything you want. Just don't do it on NATO territory or anybody else we're friendly with. And that would, you know, I said, that's what I would do. And if I was Budinov, what I would have looked for was places where I could use relatively small forces to have a huge impact. Like, say, a couple drone operators spotting for the uh, rebel forces in Syria. Or a couple drone operators spotting for the Tuaregs when they took on the uh, Wagner forces in Mali. It doesn't take much to give a um, small force an extra edge at times. All it takes is that little bit of extra knowledge about what's happening and where. And your forces can be far more effective than they would be under other circumstances and I think that this is what's happened as I said at some point I'm really looking forward to reading a history of the Ukrainian GRU during this time period it is going to be absolutely fascinating anyways that's all for tonight folks have a good evening and I'll talk to you again soon bye bye